Hey everyone, Bo Martonic here with the East Meets West Hunt podcast. And I'm gonna give you a little rundown of everything that's in my saddle kit. What's on me, what I'm using to climb, and how I'm doing that. So first and foremost, I do not typically wear my saddle in, so I pack it in, in my pack. Same with the platform sticks, everything's attached. So I'm gonna show you from when I'm at the base of the tree, how I'm gonna do it. So I like to pack my sticks in twos. And what I'm gonna do next is I'll take the one off and put the, the first one on the tree. So essentially for my climbing method, we'll just, for the sake of this video, show this one isn't involved. So that, so I just use this one little uh, cinch cord here on the side of the sys hauler. And then on the other side, I'm doing the same thing. So this is how I use to climb it up. I don't have any different attachment methods, anything, just using these. And that's how I'm able to climb up the tree. This little piece here is actually plastic and it's from Genesis 3D printing. It's their hanger. They have it specifically for the predator platform and some other different methods. But to go, go into it a little bit more detailed on what objects I have. So I should have started out at the beginning, but I'm running the tethered Phantom saddle. So I've been using the, the Phantom for two seasons now. I had the Mantis from Tether before that. The Phantom saddle is extremely comfortable with being able to have these different comfort channels that they have on here for different angles of the tree. Utila bridge is nice because if, if I were to wear it walking in or even just at the, as I'm climbing up so it's not in your way and you're not getting hung on your tree steps, I take that and I tuck it in and I wrap it around the side of the sys hauler. So I have that right there, it's nice and tight. Now when I'm ready to go up and get set up in the tree and hook it to my tether, I take this nice and quick, you're able to pull this out and run it to whatever length that you want and attach it to the front of your tree tether. So it's pretty simple, very comfortable saddle. And I just, I've really liked using this one in the last couple of years. I've been using the regular Predator platform I have the Excel as well, and honestly, I like the regular Predator better than the XL. Smaller, more packable, and I find it to be just as useful. So as I said, that clips on the back of the saddle, and the tethered one sticks that I have here, they weigh literally 16 ounces a piece, so I carry four of them in. I have them wrapped in some I'll put a, put a link down below. I'm not exactly sure of the name of it off the top of my head, but it's basically an automotive wrap that I found on Amazon that has sound dampening qualities to it. It's almost like a felt material. And actually my neighbor, Ray, had dropped off some of my mailbox and he told me to try it and he's the one who introduced me to it. So I started ordering it off Amazon. It's cheap, but I'll throw a link in the description so you can check that out. So other than the one sticks and the phantom saddle, I run two sys hauler 2.0s, one on each side. And this is where I keep, the first thing is I have an eight millimeter lineman rope. So I went to the small ones uh, here recently from Tethered um, from the 11 millimeter and they pack so much nicer and smaller. I understand with all the buzzes about them now. And I'm still using the Ropeman one on here. I am not recommending that you use the Ropeman one. They are not rated to be used with the eight millimeter rope, but uh, I know a lot of people do use them and don't have any issues with it. I have had zero issues with using them. The Kong duck is the one that's meant to be used for it. You can also find that online. They have them over the tethered website, anywhere like that. But uh, I like the Ropeman ones. I think they're quieter. I think they, they grab better in my opinion. I just have the, the tethered carabiner on that as well. So I keep that, I tie that, I loop that through here on the, on the side of the saddle. And then in, also inside of here, on my right pouch, I keep my actual tether. So I keep that with another Ropeman one. It's an eight millimeter, uh, eight millimeter tether and then another tethered carabiner on there as well. For me personally, I like to, to wrap it around the tree from this side and go around and loop it through for being able to shoot off to the left side, being right-handed. 
that seems to work the best for me. So that's all I keep in that pocket, but I keep it in that order for a reason. So then once I get back up to the top of the tree, I, after I throw my tether on, I'm able to take my lineman rope off after I'm climbing up the tree, tuck that back in, cinch everything back up, and I'm good to go. On my left side, inside this Sishauler 2.0, I have a black diamond uh, the strap that I use. This is what I use for putting my gear on. Um, I'll have a link down, link to everything that I have will be down in the description in case I screw up the names of it. But I bought this black diamond thing, another, another one on Amazon again. I've uh, been using it for a few years. I like it, it's simple. So basically all I do with it, and I'll show you, is I will take it, wrap it around the tree, and I'm just twisting it this way to be able to show you. Um, this is a pretty big size tree, but I'll run this through this big open loop here. And then I have a carabiner that hangs here, and this is where I'll hang my backpack. But this, I'm just doing it on this side of the tree to be able to show you. I really have it on this side, I hang that down. Then I'll take this other little carabiner here, this hero carabiner from Tethered, and I'll put this up through, and that's where I would hang my bow. And that's how I basically run my entire gear setup here. I also have the small little S clips from Tethered that I'll use and put on if I want to attach anything else. Every once in a while, I'll hang my binos, maybe my grunt tube, something else along that that webbing on the side so I'm able to use that there. And the last thing I keep in here is the tethered recliner. This thing if you're doing all day sets is an absolute must in my opinion. So it's pretty simple. Run it around like this, clip it onto the front of your tethered and you're good to go. You can move it up and down your back, keeps you nice and comfortable without any back pain. And then if you're starting to get tired on your legs, you can set it underneath here to take some pressure off the bottom of your thighs and um, honestly I don't I really I used to start I used to just use this on all day sits and now it's a it's a part of my setup all the time so I use it every hunt I throw that on gives me some added stability it weighs next to nothing you can pack it in the bottom of here and that's all there is to it so basically I like to keep my stuff organized and I like to keep it simple. The two sys haulers keep everything in the right spots. I keep all my, my uh, straps, my ropes on my right side, my left side's all my gear and my recliner. All that stuff's in there. So once I throw my backpack up around the tree, got my bow in, I'm ready to go. As I said, I like to keep it pretty simple. I have just the two sys hauler 2.0s from Tethered on the side of the Phantom saddle and I'm using the eight millimeter ropes for both the tether and the lineman's rope. Ropeman ones, four one sticks, predator platform, and the black diamond daisy chain, some of the predator or the tethered clips to be able to hang everything. There's, it's called the Hiss Pro Pack that they have on their, on their website. All that stuff, that's what I'm using. What works for me might not always work for you, so keep that in mind, try out some new stuff, see how it works for you and that's what's so cool about saddle hunting you can try out different things and figure out your own process thanks for watching this video if you like it check out the others on my channel hit the like button hit subscribe leave a comment that helps out a ton and check out these meets west hunt podcast for all your information on adventure hunting from east to west and a lot of information including hunting big woods, mountain bucks in the Appalachian Mountains. Thanks.